G'day guys, we're back on our Moffat Beach CRT project. I wanted to take this opportunity before it starts getting too much cladding on the home to give you a little bit of an insight into the amount of detail and the process that's going into this home and making sure it's a very energy sustainable uh, and sufficient home. So um, being a CRT home, there was no cavity in the walls to run all our services. So uh, before we put all this insulation panelling on, we went through with our electricians and our plumbers, we marked everything out and we actually decided to run all our services on the CLT panelling. Um, so then what we've done, we've installed our windows and we've sicker our windows to the Proctor passive wrapping. So you'll see this red tape here. The entire outside surface of our CLT panelling is actually wrapped in this um, protective, it's a protective coating, but it's also basically like a, a thin membrane that seals up the home. And now we're coming along and doing all our insulation. So what we've actually done is because this is a high density insulation 40 mil panel, wherever we've had some wiring, we've actually gone with the router and we've trenched out 10 millimeter trenches uh, and hidden all the wiring in behind the insulation. Um, and now we've come around and we've siliconed or sicker-flexed our insulation panel to our window also. So we're trying to get rid of any air gaps. So the thing to making a home a lot more efficient to run is about minimising the amount of air changes in the home. This house is um, definitely not certified to be a passive home. Um, we're not aiming to have a passive home, but on all of our projects, we do our absolute best to try and seal them up because when a house is sealed up, it means your air conditioning is uh, going to run a lot more efficient. It's going to cool the house a lot more easily. Your heating's going to work a lot better because you're not losing heat and cold through air gaps in your home. This 40 millimetre dense uh, insulation panel is absolutely fantastic and so after we've installed all this, the boys have then come along and we've actually taped all the joints. The next process on this job is now we've got to put hardwood, uh, 45 millimetre hardwood battens over this insulation. So they'll get screwed all the way through into our CO2 panel and that will create a cavity. I know there's going to be a lot of people asking, well why didn't you run um, your electrical wiring your services in that cavity? We didn't want the wiring because it would have had to pass through the battens in certain locations, which meant there was an, a possibility that it would have uh, could have got penetrated by the screws when we screw all our cladding on. And being a solid house with no cavity and the wiring all run very strategically and being pinned in place, if there was a, if something hits a wire or a pipe or anything, we, we would never find it, and it would be an absolute nightmare to um, to to locate. So by fixing all the services to the CRT panel, we've been able to mark that out in a strategic way that it misses all of our battens. And when we screw our battens in, we don't have to worry about the screws hitting anything. And now we can just get stuck into our cladding and not have to worry about those screws penetrating any services as well. So um, you'll see here on the back of the windows, we actually had Deuce. So the, all the timber doors and windows on this job are supplied by Deuce. Um, we had them install this rebate in the window frame. So. Um, when we put our 40 mil timber batten on now, or 45 mil timber batten, the, we'll then put a, we've got a Proctor rain screen sarking that will then go over the top of those battens. We'll then have a damp course flashing that will get sicker flexed into this rebate and lap over our rain uh, screen sarking. And then our timber cladding will actually run into this bead as well. So you'll see there's a little bit of a process, making sure everything laps in the right way, making sure everything's really well sealed. Um, and that way we get a really good finish. It's a really good detail having the cladding go into the frame rather than just butt to it. Um, it's a lot more better for moisture ingress and those types of things. But the whole point of everything we're doing here is minimizing the air changes in the home and trying to seal the envelope of the house up the best way that we can. And, that's just, like I said, it's going to make the home work very efficiently. Obviously in this location, being in Queensland, the, the client's going to open the house up. It's been designed to open up. They're going to get cross ventilation and airflow. But when it is really hot or it is really cold and they do want to close the house up and they do want to use their air conditioning, they do want to use their heaters, the home is going to perform really efficiently. So I uh, hope that gives you a little bit of an insight into uh, all the detail, the thought and the effort and the materials and the labour that goes into a home like this.